Hey everybody, it's Amber here with your April's Director's Message. I want to start things off with some birthday celebrations. First up, we have Jerry over at Defiance. Her birthday is April 6th. We have three birthdays on April 11th. First up, we have Mart at Defiance, Tiffany at Napoleon, and Ashlyn at Pulaski. Isabel over in Defiance has a birthday on April 19th, and finishing things off is Heather at Wasian. Her birthday is April 25th. So please make sure you're wishing these girls a happy birthday. All right, now for upcoming events. The Week of the Young Child starts April 1st. The education team has already sent out emails with fun activities for each of you to do with the children each day. No Keck Mental Health Day is on April 8th. The agency will be closed. There are solar eclipse glasses for all staff. The glasses will be in mailbox for pickup this week. Dental days are on the 10th and the 11th of this month. Be sure to reach out to your family advocate to get the children scheduled who need those appointments. Oh, the focus area two monitoring is the week of April 22nd. So please check out all the different resources in the Padlet. DRDP spring observations are going to end on the 19th, um, and the checkpoints will end on the 26th. Uh, the NOCAC agency in service will be the 26th of this month. It's going to be at the Educational Service Center in Archibald. Uh, please make sure to be working with your supervisors to ensure you're flexing appropriately to be able to attend the agency in service. Now on to announcements. First announcement I would like to make is to congratulate Anna Safranik, who is the new Assistant Director of Child Development. Uh, that's going to be effective 325. Um, I'm looking forward to working with Anna closely to continue to move our program, um, striving for excellence and aligning our mission, our vision, and our core values. Um, as mentioned, our focus area two will be the last full week of April. Um, Anna and I will meet the lead reviewer um, on April 1st to get a better idea of what to expect um, and a specific schedule for that week's events. Um, I am excited for this opportunity um, to showcase all the amazing things that you guys do week in and week out. Um, this is a great learning opportunity and opportunity for growth for us. Center managers have a list of potential items that will be covered and resources again are available um, on the Padlet. So um, let's toot our horns and let's show these reviewers what an amazing program we are. As this year draws to a close, the leadership team um, begins to evaluate the program structures, the efficiencies. We have decided to put together a job description committee to review all positions, so to ensure that we are working to the top of our license. These reviews mean a shift in job responsibilities and duties as we work towards a four-day work week. If you are interested in being on the job description committee, uh, please reach out and email Anna um, and let her know of your interest. Just tell her you know, what uh, that you would like to be involved um, and what you think you could bring to the table as far as trying to find those efficiencies. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about, um, because it's that time of the year, we've had a large amount of not only child incidents, but also staff incidents. And I wanted to make sure that we review this together because it's really important. Um, our policy and procedure 5.06, specifically Section C, talks about an employee must complete an accident or an incident form by the next workday when an accident or an incident occurs. This form must be completed regardless of the apparent seriousness of the injury or whether medical attention is required. If medical attention is required due to the workplace injury, the employee may file a worker's compensation claim by obtaining the state approved claim from Dusty, payroll specialist. It is really important that you guys are filling out these accident and incident reports. No matter how big or small the incident is, if you are injured during work time, take the time to fill them out. The worst thing that's going to happen is we're going to have a larger paper file of these forms. But the worst thing that's going to happen is if you have something that comes that you don't notice until two or three days later from the incident or the accident, you're not going to be covered under workers' comp because you didn't take the time to fill the form out. So we care about you. We care about your health and your safety. And so even a, a slice of the finger that doesn't seem like it's major because we it doesn't need stitches, what if it gets infected? Um, again, it's just really important that we are filling these out to protect ourselves. We want to make sure that if we're injured at work, um, that we're that we're going to be protected by those safeguards that we have in place. So 
I hope you guys have a wonderful April. I can't believe it's already April already. Um, just a couple more months of school. Um, we're really looking forward to some fun and exciting things in our future. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.